This video is about managing pH for maximum yield. What is pH? Basically, pH is a measure of the acid or alkaline balance in a solution. Why does it matter? Because it affects nutrient absorption and nutrient absorption has significant effects on both the quantity and the quality of the produce that you grow. Now for a starting point, let's keep in mind that rainwater typically has a pH of between 5.6 and 5.8. This is because as rain falls, it combines with carbon dioxide and makes a slightly acid solution. I'm going to take a few seconds and look at some charts here that show how various nutrients are absorbed by plants based on the nutrient balance. So here's one chart. And here's another chart. And here's another chart. And these are all from different sources. The thing I want to point out here is that at about 6.5 on these charts, you get a sweet spot in terms of nutrient absorption. This chart shows 6.0 to 6.5. This one shows right at 6.5 to 7. This one goes from six to seven. So this is what you should be shooting for in terms of your pH in your soil, or if you do hydroponics in your hydroponics solution. The starting place for most of us is going to be our tap water. Now, some of us are harvesting rainwater and some of us may be filtering water. In those cases, you know, you need to think about what kind of water you have available. And so your starting point is to measure the pH of your water. Now, there are different ways to do this. Um, this is an example of a pH meter. You can buy these for about $12 on Amazon, but I had one of these for a while and I found that it went off calibration after a while. And that even though I had the correct solutions for calibrating this from the manufacturer, it was not easy to calibrate. And I got to the point where I felt I could not trust it. Just want to comment that in general, if you go on Amazon or someplace and read the comments about the various pH meters, some of which are quite expensive, like 75 to 100 bucks, you do see comments about them being kind of finicky in terms of how you care for them. So as a result of my experience, I just went back to the primitive method, which is using pH strips like these from Hydreon. And you can see that these go from 5.5 to 8.0 uh, in pH in 0.2 uh, step increments. And this is a plenty sensitive uh, way of doing this. You get used to looking at it. Uh, in my hydroponic nutrients that I mix up to use in my nursery, I check the pH every day. And basically if I lay it down on a white table uh, and it's kind of a medium green, then I think I'm happy. Now, if you're growing in soil, then testing your soil is an important thing to do. And the starting point for doing that is to make a mixture of soil and distilled water uh, at a one-to-one -one ratio, keeping in mind that distilled water is neutral at 7.0. And you wanna take this mixture and let it set for about 30 minutes. Then you wanna strain it through a coffee filter and test it with your test strip or test meter. If you find that the pH of your soil sample is not in the ideal range, then you need to think about adjusting the pH. Now, one consideration in doing this is what the needs of the plants are. For instance, blueberries are a plant that needs something down around 5.5, rather acidic compared to other plants, which are happy at around 6.2, 6.4. If you find that your soil pH is above the desired range, then you need to use lime or limestone to increase the pH. If you find that your soil pH is lower than what it should be, then you need to use some kind of sulfur compound traditionally. Now, when you're doing this, you want to do it very slowly. I would say follow the manufacturer's directions in terms of how much you put on per square foot and then you wanna test your soil again to make sure it's in the right range. 
Now I'm just going to mention some products that I like to use both in my hydroponic system and in my garden. And these are the Flora Series from General Hydroponics. This is one of the old line companies and old line sets of nutrients, but they have three nutrients. One of them is the grow formula, one for flower formula, and one to give micronutrients in either case. And depending on where you are in the plant's life cycle, you may want to increase the amount of flora bloom um, when the plants need it. The other major product here is the liquid seaweed. If you look it up, you will find that this product is made from seaweed and has many trace minerals in it, which will improve the quality of your plants. Now, something else that I use in the hydroponic system, but which could be used in your garden, are these products that allow you to adjust the pH up or down as needed. Uh, you could do things like mixing up a five gallon bucket of uh, nutrient solution and adjust the pH to the correct level and then apply that to your plants. You may have the case that your soil is at 7.0 and you want 6.5. In that case, you may want to fix some 6.0 uh, nutrient solution in, in order to balance out the pH.